Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I'm gonna walk you through all of the changes coming to iOS 15 beta 4 as well as iPadOS 15 beta 4. And there was a lot to talk about, including full-fledged MagSafe battery pack support, redesigns still coming to Safari, and much, much more. So let's go ahead and dive into this thing. Diving in, the controversial Safari update got further changes with beta 4. For example, as we are here on this article, you can see there's a new refresh icon right there in that smart bar at the bottom, and it changes based on what you're doing. So if we're looking at the page, it's a refresh icon. As it's refreshing, it'll show an X, and when we're on an option that has like the reader view, it'll show that as well. So I can tap on reader view to go into reader view to read this article uh, that I had posted this morning and tap it again to turn it off. The ellipsis here on the right has been replaced. So there was those three dots right here that has now been replaced with the share sheet. So I can pull this up and use this here as well. So just a lot of changes continuing to go on in Safari. If we look over on our iPad, we can see that it actually now defaults to a tabbed view. But if you go into settings, you can change it from the tabbed view to the new compact UI. So you have a choice between these. It'll be very interesting to see where Apple lands on the full release of Safari here on iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. Apple's new MagSafe battery pack is officially supported on beta 4 of iOS 15. Before it would charge, but it would not show in places such as the battery widget or on the lock screen or get the smart features where it only will charge to 90 or 80% uh, depending on its environment. Moving on to other changes this time around, if we go into the App Store, this is the update screen I've already loaded, and you can see it now has rounded corners. There at the top, very small change, but the corners are now rounded on this update screen. If we go to widgets, when you have these uh, smart widgets here, if I go to edit stack, we have this new smart rotate option for those stacked widgets. So if you have those uh, stacked, you can now rotate between them. You have a new option to share focus status on individual conversations. So now I can turn this on or off for each person here inside of messages. Speaking of focus, time sensitive ones here, they have a new icon available. So if you have time sensitive notifications before they did not have an icon and that icon has been added here in beta four. Again, speaking of notifications, we have a new notifications icon here inside of beta four inside of settings. I have the last beta here on this device. You can see the old notifications icon that square with the notification icon. Now it is a bell. So you can see change in that notification icon inside of settings. If we dig into notifications, there's an option now for screen sharing to turn notifications off. So when you are sharing your screen with somebody, such as using SharePlay, no notifications will come through, or you can allow notifications, but that makes it very handy to hide any notifications when somebody else is viewing your screen. You don't have to turn on Do Not Disturb or anything like that. Inside of Shortcuts, there's a new option and new action to return to home screen, so you can run some sort of shortcut and then return to home screen as that last step or as a earlier step inside of that shortcut. For control center, there is a new icon for notes down here. Looks a little bit different, has those lines on the note itself. When looking at public transit, such as trains here in the map set, there's a new frequency uh, panel right here at the top telling how often that train or bus would be leaving. Finally, we see that memories here inside of the photos app are now shareable. So that is it. That is everything that we've uncovered thus far in iOS 15 beta 4. But of course, there are many more things to come down the line. I am pretty excited because for me, beta 3 was atrocious. I had a ton of issues, including spotlight search, completely non-functional. So beta 4 has already started off on a better note. But let us know down below in the comments or over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU if you have noticed any other changes in iOS 15 beta 4. Otherwise, stay tuned for more video content coming soon.